What is up, my Peter Bros. Brady Maniac NBA game picks and spreads for Friday, November 23rd. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was an early game, but I'm getting on it. Timberwolves Nets is in halftime. Timberwolves are up 54 to 49, but I, I'm going to pick the Nets to come back and win this one because, hey, when I don't pick a game late, I always pick the team that's losing just for a little bit of fairness. And yeah, the Grizzlies at the Clippers at 330. I'm going to pick the Clippers in this one. They're favored by 4.5. I think they win and cover Rockets Pistons. I think the Rockets have too much talent. Favored by 5 on NBA TV, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific Time. I think the Rockets get their 10th win of the season. I think they win. I think they cover the 5-point spread. Celtics, Hawks, Hawks. Celtics favored by 8.5. Sitting at 500 at 9-9. Nine and nine. That is very, 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 very not good. I think the Celtics win this one, but they have disappointed me so much lately. I think they cover the spread, but... They fall in love with a three when they can't make it, and it spells trouble. Pelicans next. Pelicans favored by 7.5. I think they win. I think they cover as well. Cavaliers 76ers. 76ers favored by 13. I think they win and cover, sending the Cavaliers to their 15th loss already. Wizards, Raptors. Wizards are an impressive 6-11 and 11 after their slow start. And it's only impressive because of how slow they started. Raptors favored by 10.5 in this one. I think they win and get their 16th win in 20 games to start the season. Spurs Pacers. Pacers favored by three and a half. I'm picking the Pacers in this one at home. Uh, Spurs have been kind of disappointing lately, but anything can happen with with Greg Popovich. Heat Bulls. Heat favored by three here. I'm going to take them to win and cover as well. I don't think the Bulls have enough talent quite yet with Markinen still out. Hornets Thunder. Thunder favored by six here, but I'm going to pick the Hornets in the upset. Something about Kemba Walker just tells me upset alert. Suns, Bucks, Bucks favored by 13 and a half, and that is funny because if they lose, they go to 13 and 5. And being favored 13 and a half, that would be 13.5 and 13 to 5, which is funny, but I think they win. I think they go to 14 and 4. Should be a good one. I think they cover the spread as well. The Suns do have talent, but I don't think they're quite there. Then you have the Magic at the Nuggets. Um, If any team can upset the Nuggets when they're slipping like this, it's going to be the Magic. The Magic are an impressive 9 and 9. They are tied with the Celtics record-wise, and the Orlando Magic have not been good for quite a few years. I think the Nuggets win this one. The center matchup in this one is really exciting. Vucevic against Jokic, a board dominator versus a passer. It's going to be very, very interesting. Magic uh, Nuggets are by 7.5. I think they cover. Trouble is Warriors. Warriors favored by 2. I think they win. I think they cover as well. Tomorrow we should be hearing more on Steph Curry's injury report, so stay tuned for that. And then at 10.30 p.m. Eastern, NBA TV, 7.30 p.m. Pacific Time, we have the Jazz at the Lakers. Jazz are currently 8-10. and 10. The Jazz and the Celtics are probably two of the most disappointing teams so far this season. Lakers are an impressive 9-7 and seven considering how they started. I think a lot of that is acquiring Tyson Chandler when they did. Uh, Lakers favored by 2.5 here. And with how the Jazz are playing and with how LeBron has the Lakers improving defensively, I think the Lakers win this one at home. I think they cover the spread. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you are new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.